everyone um it's our ketchup which is the idols ketchup as you can see from the screen um i was traveling on sunday so we couldn't um gather and and have this chat um i was in Botswana to be more specific and while you guys were tweeting all you know my favorite was this um i was on a flight yes and unfortunately for me i don't watch idols live i was recorded and what happened to me is, for whatever reason, it recorded like only one hour of the show. So I had to wait for it to come on catch up. So I didn't get to watch it until now. So um, I want us to talk about first and foremost, let's start off um, with our bottom three. Um, and I just want to get your opinion on your list of bottom three and why you're putting those in the bottom three. Me? Yeah. Okay. Start. Are you asking me? Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's was heartbreaking. Okay, so um, before we get to the maybe the bottom three, it's just like, yeah, I think there were major disappointments, and one of my favorites, Tommy, um, I think he messed up his lyrics, and I, I'm still like, Ugh! I saw your tweets on on Sunday, and I was like heartbroken by it. It's like, oh my gosh, I really, I mean, for me, it was like his to 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 lose, basically, you know. Um, so bottom three, uh, bottom three, I'd say is Danele. Um, He's the guy who sang the boys to men. Yeah, the boys to men. I think for me, like, if you're gonna do, I'll make love to you. Do it the so way. So he's like number last. Yeah, he's number one. He's like. Okay. Actually, I'm not gonna rank them. I'll just talk my I'll talk about my my bottom three. You must rank them. <laughs> you must rank them. Okay, he's my last then. Okay, and okay. then uh, my second last is Bevan. I didn't feel that song. Um, and then the third last was um, unfortunately one of my favorites as well was the Wuhu. I also so struggled. Three guys. Three guys. Yeah, three there. guys. Okay. I struggled completely with with um, their songs. Okay, my bottom three um, at number last, I'm gonna put uh, Tammy immediately because I'm a strong believer um, that when you're on that platform, there is no room for mistakes. There's no room for mistakes. If you want to win this competition and you've got the capacity to win that competition, you've got to respect your audience by knowing your lyrics. Once you don't know your lyrics for me, um, that's it. You're done. It's over. It's over. You've just given the title to somebody else because once you don't have the professionalism to respect your audience, to respect the organizers, to respect the competition, just by knowing lyrics for me, you're done. So I'm officially off. The Tammy bandwagon, it was great, it was good, but for me, you're number last right now. No, can I ask you a question? What? Um, have, you ever, have you ever not been nervous before in front of people? Um, I'm nervous every day. <laughs> no, I mean, I've been in a position where I've As been... As a black man, I'm nervous every day. <laughs> I've been in a position where I've been nervous, um, you know, in front of people, and especially people you want to completely please, and... and um, want to showcase you know your abilities etc and you just completely know wrecking no what no what i think okay what no listen 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 no, listen. no what he did is the equivalent of a doctor uh five taking million. out your heart and no. was going to take off your kidney five million people are watching no 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 no, okay. no i don't care if it's 10 million people you don't make those mistakes that's my view if you're going to be on this idols thing and you're serious about winning once you don't know the most simple thing as lyrics you're done game over next so tell me i'm done with you God bless you in your export, but I'm done with you. Epic fail. Thank goodness you don't vote. You I go. vote. So. <laughs> Why is <snitching> on you? <laughs> I'll vote on your behalf. No, no, but no, anyway, no. let's no, get to it. No, 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 no airtime in this house. It's going in that direction. It's over. And then uh, my other okay. uh, bottom three after that is Sanele. That was an epic disaster of voice to men. Eish. Epic fail. Eish. Um, I don't know you... I don't know what was going through his mind. He started off in frog voice and tried to get into um, hot voice. Didn't work for me. Um, and then uh, the other person I'm going to put in the bottom three um, has got to be um, Te Tebeho. Um, I think Bevan did better than him, in my view. Uh, Tebeho, unfortunately, it didn't resonate at all. I'm not connecting with him. Um, I do not see him in the top five. I do not see any 
of them in the top five, and unfortunately, um, I don't. It's very that's my bottom three. On Devoho, because I think he he shouldn't be in the bottom. He's got a phenomenal voice. Like, they're like when he's just doing acoustic and he's just singing, it's totally amazing. He is but gifted, but I don't think he's the right fit for this show. For idols, yeah, you're right. I think he'll be good just as an artist in his own right. He's got the capacity mm. to do well in his own league. Mm. But in this competition, I don't think he is multifaceted enough um, to succeed on this show. So, 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 in terms of um, our bottom three, mine is Sanele, Bevan and Deboho. We we were agreeing on two. Yes, uh, mine is Tammy last. Tammy, yes, okay. Last. Epic fail, brother. You don't make those mistakes. Okay, okay. You Get don't it. make those oh, mistakes. Okay, okay. Uh, Tammy and then, uh, Tammy, Sanele, and uh, Tebohu. That's my So bottom two, three. we, and then we, we agree on Tebohu and Sanele. And we differ on Bevan and, and Tammy. Okay, okay, okay. okay. That's fine, that's fine. Because I'm a mother, mm. I know people make mistakes, so I'm okay. The Bible says submit. <laughs> you must submit on this time, I think. <laughs> Shakarabasha. Alrighty, um, so you want to go into... Top 5. Okay, let me get into my top 5. Before I get into my top 5, um, I've got to deal with those who don't make my top 5. No see her, in my view, she's, in my view does not make my top 5. Uh, she's talented. But she didn't uh, break into the next level. Bevan, of course, uh, didn't break into the top five for me. Uh, but I like that kid. I wish him well. Right. At number five, my number five is going to be Norma. Um, she, she, she had a very safe performance in my view. She's got a lot of potential. And it was a very safe performance. Very mature. And uh, it's worthy of being in my top five. I'll put it there um, in my top five. And then at my number four, I'm going to have Valentine. She closed the show with a lot of charisma and a lot of energy. I'm putting her in there for the sake of energy, but her vocals are not on Norma's level. But in terms of energy, sometimes to be a pop star, you need energy. And she just got that energy, that vibe, that swag about her. So I wish her well. And then at uh, number three, now we're getting into my top three. At number three, um, I'm stuck in a war between Lucia and uh, Keegan. I'm going to make them tie for number two. Number two. Okay. I'm going to put them tie because Keegan opened up the show on a high level. He set the tone. He set, um, he set the stage. And I thought, man, if that's the guy who's opening, mm. if Keegan is opening, um, usually the way idols work, they put um, their best in the last. They open with someone strong, but they, the reason why they put you first is not because you had the strongest performance of the night. So when he opened on that level, I thought, man, something is coming mm. and I couldn't find it. <laughs> so when Lucia came in after him, she blew my mind. She is controlled. She's composed. She is, um, she's a vocal beast. She is something else. And I totally enjoyed uh, Lucia and... What I liked about her is it was power under control. Because sometimes when you've got a powerful voice, the tendency is to just start from the first verse, to start from the first line, to start from the beginning, to just start making noise. And But she controls her power. And it's got this little raspy thing that I love about it. So I've got Keegan and Lucy tied for number two. Okay. I loved both of them. Um, it was such a battle. Um, initially, Keegan was my number one. Mm -hmm. um, and um, then when I saw my number one for this week is Terra. Terra. Oh. My goodness, he blew my mind. He he did everything that I want from a singer. He just came in there, you know, relaxed, and he started off very very low on a low tone, and then he got in there and just began to kick B U double T. He just began to kick B U double T. And for me, uh, Tara won the night, no doubt, no question. I'm a guy, I love singing, I love singers. I don't care if you're black, white, Indian, whatever. If you can sing, I'm going to support you and give you the props you deserve. And Tara, tonight, you deserve all of the props. You did an incredible, incredible job. And you have the potential to actually win. I'm jumping off the Tammy bandwagon 
and I'm now looking for a new bandwagon and Tara, I might just be on your bandwagon now. <laughs> okay. All right. <sighs> okay. Um, I think we, we're more or less similar. So, okay. um, I think, you know, I'm really heartbroken and that tummy is not, I'm is, not heartbroken. Wait, 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 it's my turn. I'm not heartbroken. It's my you turn. Don't do that. It's my turn. Okay, cool. Okay. So I'm really heartbroken, but I think, I mean, um, there's still, um, a chance for him to come back. You know, I believe that God is about, um, second chances. And in this case, this is not church. This is angel, <laughs> in this case, you know, um, he's going to give him a second chance and he's going to come back stronger and mm -hmm. more powerful. And so I'm really excited about uh, the next um, the next show because he's probably going to come up very strong and, and, and very talented. And I think, you know, I would urge all the Tammy followers to, uh, to vote follow my example. to vote. Uh, to vote for him and just keep encouraging him, etc. Because I think the talent is there. Um, so the mistake has happened, but the talent is there. And um, so I think uh, in terms of my number five, I would say he is probably my number five. Um, as as my number five. Why are you looking at my list? <laughs> I'm seeing, and I'm seeing a she and I'm hearing a he. <laughs> yeah, Tammy is my number five. I think Tammy is your number five. Yes. No, bias is not good. No, vocally he is strong. No, bias is not good. Vocally no, he's strong. No, 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 he's strong vocally. There's no way you can come into top five and forget lyrics. I mean, all these other kids knew their lyrics. You forget lyrics. But if they're not vocally strong. That's because they are vocally. We don't care about that. you got to respect your audience. You but it's my top five. Okay, it's my cool. top five. It's not your top five. Okay. Okay. So my top five, um, I say Tammy. Number four. Number four, I mean, um, I struggled, you know, um, with between... Um, Valentine and Norma um, and I guess um, in this instance Norma won um, Because I think vocally she's much stronger than Valentine. So she she is number my number four number three uh, my number three is uh, Is Keegan and um, I think he did a phenomenal job even starting etc. He was brilliant. Yes. Yes um, the notes but I think the two that blew me away completely uh, from their performances, I got goosebumps and I sat there wondering, where do these people come from? You know, is, um, is Lucia and Tara. And I think Tara had a bit of an edge uh, because I think a song choice was fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and so there was a little bit of an edge um, from Lucia, but um, my word, phenomenal, phenomenal. I think they really brought it and I'm happy. I mean, I'm happy. Like you know. Um, I never saw Tara coming. Really? No, I, no, no. I had an idea, but I didn't. You know, sometimes um, you got an idea of someone's talent, but it takes the stage. The same way I never saw Tara coming. I never saw Tammy giving me this black coffee mbama in the face, <laughs> like what he did by forgetting his lyrics. So the the fun part about the season is that the number ones keep changing. You know all the time so mm -hmm. i think your number one last week was keegan yeah um and uh, my number one last week was tammy mm -hmm. uh so they keep like varying and changing i mean this week we have Terra, um and it seems like it's unanimous um in terms of who number one is tell us who is your number one and number two and number three uh, um it'll be interesting to figure out and find out from you who you think your yeah. your top three are and your bottom three Yes, put it in your comments, tell us who's your top three, your top five, um, and tell us who your bottom three are, and who your top five are. We'll be really interested to know that. Um, I'm just going to do a, a couple of prophetic uh, predictions mm. from what I've seen. I can sense in the spirit that there's no woman winning this year. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, I think I think the guys have, have got a lot a lot of potential. The guys um, are just beasts. They are just this year they're like tearing things apart, you know. And I think they've kind of reached that that level which I keep telling my husband about that you need this aggression that has to come out and just go like ah I'm here and I want it. And I think I mean the girls are still doing ah oh, it feels good to be here. The guys are like it feels good to be here. 
the girls are like, the girls are like, I don't know if I deserve to be here. I don't. The guys are like, I'm awesome, and I got talent, and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show everybody in South Africa what I've got. I've, I had to push to get on this stage, and I'm not coming on this stage to play games. The girls are still. Uh -huh. Yeah, so my advice to the ladies again, own it, take it. And I think um, last year, I think that's what Valentine tried to do this Valentine. week. Valentine. Oh, Valentine, yeah, Valentine tried, yeah. yeah. She tried to bring her, you know, fierceness, and, and, which is awesome. I yeah. think it, it uh, built her up or picked her up from the bottom creepers. Yeah it, yeah, it took her from, I mean, basically, Valentine's performance was just energy. Mm. It just had an energy and a tone about it and sometimes that's what you need you don't really need the greatest singing talent some folks just carry mm. energy and when you see their performance something is stirred up in you and i think that's what she brought to the i think the, she must give some of that to norma <laughs> like you know, boom, boom. then it will be like fantastic yeah, norma and needs stage presence for yeah. me yeah um she just reminded me with greatest respect to a uh, youth group Church youth group worship leader. Uh, what's nothing wrong with church? No, I'm just saying <clears throat> that's my exposure. Okay, so my other vocal disappointment was no, no see here. I think she's phenomenal vocally. She's got this husky voice. Like I actually think, like how does a husky voice choose a Celine Dion? Mm -hmm. Like I was really quite surprised <laughs> by her choice. I actually thought maybe she'll choose like a. Uh, Messy Gray or like uh, Mary J. Blige, you know. And, and why stuff. didn't they choose anything local? I mean, a voice like hers, she could have chosen a local ballad, mm. a nice local ballad from either Sahara or. Uh, but that's not no, 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 that's no, the, the 90s. 90s, stuff. 90s. First, oh man. Yeah. But she could have chosen something from the 90s, mm. like Gosi Sikelele or something. Mm. No, no, no. I think she, she should have gone the other. But. Um, someone here is talking about uh, Tammy. Uh, God knows Miracle Shumba is saying sad news to all Tammy fans. He's not gonna win. Laugh out loud. <laughs> I agree with you, my brother. <laughs> I'm off the bandwagon. I want to apologize to everybody on Facebook for supporting someone who's not serious. I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna give you new direction after next week. I know that he's gonna come back more powerful and you know we on some fresh milk <laughs> all right okay um i think that's it my love what do you know anything else to say i just want to say if you're a musician know your lyrics that is the basic requirement know your lyrics we're not asking you to send a rocket to the moon we're not asking you to do open heart surgery we're just asking you to know your lyrics and let that be a lesson to you that just not knowing your lyrics can cost you everything Aish, yeah shame it because i mean at church we always like to our worship leaders and, know and our lyrics. Words, like know your lyrics you can't come and showcase and and you literally like oh, oh, you know and people are looking at you to lead them i guess epic fail that's an epic Fail. You caught an L. That's an epic fail. But yet we need to have grace. No, we got grace. Uh, we, we, we've and, got grace. Yeah. So much grace, we are done. Mm. All right. Have a good Amen. evening, everyone. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in, and um, see you Sunday. Actually, the Sunday I'm traveling again. Um, so we'll record next week. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I'm going to the West Africa side. Okay, uh, and then I'm out the following week. Eh? I went mm. to the States, so we might have to do a Google group something. Mm. I don't know. But All anyways, right. um, God bless you. Thank you so much for watching this. Um, pray for Tammy that um, he needs, Grace must locate that one. <laughs> and uh, vote for, I'm saying vote for Tara, vote for Keegan, vote for Lucia. Those vote are for Tammy. Three. Vote for those three. No, you don't deserve your vote. Vote for those three. God bless you. And you'll receive a double portion of a Terra anointing. God bless you. <laughs>